Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. This is a No Catch Name episode, I think 117, something around there. <laughs> it's also vlogist number four, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I only have a little bit to show you, um, really, crochet wise. I have two finished objects. I don't have any active whips right now that I can remember. Uh, and then I got a bunch of bags I'm going to show you that are going to be in the shop. Uh, hopefully this Saturday. I have eight more to finish tomorrow and then I will go ahead and get them listed and then I'll make it go live Saturday morning sometime. I will announce for sure either tomorrow evening or Friday the date, the, the time that I'm gonna put the bags live on the shop, uh, my time, and it's I live in central time zone. So um, be looking for that if you're interested in the bag. <laughs> Anyways, um, my finished objects is one is a rag. Did I have this done last week? I think I might have showed this last time. I actually have two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. I think it's still in a project bag. This one's already been, um, the end's woven in and it's already been washed, so it's ready to go under my sink to be used. The other one is done. I just have to weave in the ends and wash it. But this is made with um, scrub off yarn. I think it's um, sugar and cream. <laughs> I got it at Joann's. But it's just a scrub off yarn. It's kind of it's got the scrubby yarn built into it, so I like that. But yeah, so I finished that, and then my big finished object is my pumpkin face throw. It is a free pattern by Yarn Inspirations, and I've seen a few other people make it. I started it, and then a few people um, seen it that I was making it, and then they started making it. And I've seen a couple that were already done. Mine's been done for a few days. I just uh, was waiting to record this video to show it, but it's already been woven in and washed so it's floppy and soft now get it upside right all right so it's pretty big <laughs> so there it is i accidentally sewed on my boo square sideways <laughs> um it's supposed to be facing that way this up <laughs> probably you know like that one up but it doesn't matter it's all the same to me it's nice and floppy now that it's been washed. I like it. I did do the um, the scalloped edge because I thought it was pretty hair. <laughs> but yeah, so now it's done. I can put it on my chair, I think, now because I use this one on the couch. This one I did line. I made this last two years ago. This is a free pattern also by Maria's Blue Crown. It's a website. She has a free Halloween one, a fall one, a Christmas one, a summer one. She did a woodland themed one, a spring one. I think that's all that she did. She does a lot of these. Oh, she has one of the dinosaurs on it, I think. I can't remember them all. She has a lot of these blankets and they're just granny squares with little appliques on them. But I lined it with um, fleece, I think is what it's called. <laughs> it's just a big piece of purple. And I have some left, so I think I'm going to line this one eventually. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do that though, so. I don't know. It might not get done anytime soon. But I'm just going to chuck this over there because it's going to live on that chair now. <laughs> and I use this one a lot because it's really warm and heavy. So Jesse will probably use that one. He's been trying to get it <laughs> ever since it's been done. I want to um, knit some dishcloths. I got those knitting needles. I got a lot of acquisitions. And if you want to see them, check out the vloggist video that came out yesterday. It's the number three one. I got a huge Happy Mail haul, and so that's all my acquisitions. <laughs> Other than I did buy some stickers, and it's just some faith-based stickers, and uh, this is called Makers and Bakers. <laughs> it's got like baking stickers, but it's also got, uh, let me find some. It's got like crafty stickers, like it's got hot glue guns and scissors and paint, and there are yarn balls, and uh, you know, just just for my planner and my journals um i like to use stickers so i got those they were on sale at hobby lobby they were half off so i bought some but yeah so let's get on to the bags because <laughs> i don't have any active whips and like i said i do want to start some knitting uh knitted dishcloths with the new knitting needles that i got Ugh, bags okay the new bag update on saturday what is saturday i don't know what the day is today i think it's the fifth the eighth maybe it's just gonna be tote bags and these are gonna be slightly larger than the tote bags I made last week uh, just because I'm working with the pattern I still haven't gotten it to where I, I like it at so I'm just messing around with it so they're gonna be slightly bigger <laughs> the other ones were like a few inches shorter 
So I do gotta put the labels in here. I haven't put the labels in yet. But I got two of these with cats on them. So those will be going in the shop. And then there's two with this farm print. There's two of them. There are two of this, I guess, palm print. They do have box, box bottoms and they are quilted. That's why there's lines going through it. There's uh, batting in there, makes it squishy. Nice and squishy. Then there are two, I love these ones, with sunflowers. And two, this is like a pastel watercolor, kind of, with flowers. Two of those. And then right now I have I have four of these. I'm not going to show you all four of them. They're all the same. Halloween cats. Well, I mean, just cats because they're not Halloween-y. They're just cats. <laughs> and it has polka dot inside. And I do have um, three other Halloween prints and then one with bugs on it, but they're the ones that aren't done yet. I'll be finishing them up tomorrow. And then I do have two more bags that are larger. These are going to cost a little bit more than those ones um, because there's more material in them and the more of the handles but these are like actual totes so this is bigger this way and it's puppies <laughs> and it does have large straps so you know it's like a shoulder bag you put it on your arm or whatever and it actually you know hangs down <laughs> whatever so there's this one that's bigger and it's puppy dogs and then there's this print that's also bigger it's like a, a vintagey looking farm print ah, can't hold it yeah, I think it's really cute. So there are, there's going to be two big totes. <laughs> and the rest of them are going to be that one size. They're, they're not really that much different in size. But the handles are definitely longer. So yeah. And then like I said, there's also going to be two, four, six. There's six more Halloween bags. And then there's two with bugs on it that I will be done. I will finishing those tomorrow. They're all, they're already quilted and everything. All I got to do is sew them together. Um, and then tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, or Friday, I will announce when the shop is going to be updated Saturday morning, my time, so that everybody can prepare, <laughs> whoever wants to try to get it back, can, um, you know, log in at whatever their time is, my time, and, um, get, get one. <laughs> yeah, so I actually really like this bag. I think this turned out so good. It's got the boxed bottom also. Now, my sister bought a snap installer thingy because um, she's wanting me to make her some reusable pads. And um, so when she bought it, it came with a, like hundreds of those little snaps. So the next totes that I make, I'm going to try adding a snap in the middle, you know, so that you can snap them together. I couldn't with these bags because by the time she brought it to me, uh, I had already had these ones to where I couldn't add the snap because you got to add it before you... Put the two fabrics together um so that it doesn't show through you know but uh yeah so the next tote bags will have snaps <laughs> i think i'll put one in the middle or two on the side no i think one in the middle would do good and uh, so i'm just going to keep tweaking this pattern until i find the way that i like it and then that'll be the new normal tote <laughs> but i like these larger size ones because these would be good for not just a project bag but like a purse you know, you throw your stuff down there and throw it over your shoulder and go shopping or whatever. And they're washable because it's all made out of washable materials. And, uh, yeah, so that's cool. But I got to put labels in all those ones and finish up those other eight and get them all done. And then I'll be done sewing until the weekend. And then I got to work on those pads for my sister. And I got to make a couple other little things. And there's a new Notion pouch that I want to um, practice making and see if I like it enough to make it. A ton of times to put in the shop <laughs> and also need to make some more face masks for me Devin and Jesse so I got a lot of sewing to do in the future <laughs> but uh, that's all right I got nothing but time most of the time and it keeps me busy and keeps me not thinking about things <laughs> so yeah Whew, I'm tired I've been sewing all day it is about uh, 15 to 4 p.m. and I've been sewing since 8 in the morning today I stopped to eat lunch around 12 and then me and Devin did run out of the house real fast. We had to run to Walmart. And then we came back and he, he, he went over to his dad's. He's working on a guitar. He's refinishing one of his guitars. And uh, so he went over there to like sand and stuff. So I, ca I came back and just started sewing again. Because I wanted to finish all these ones. And uh, get those ones mostly done. Because Jesse's coming home tomorrow. 
you know, I don't want to sew all day on Jesse's hair, so I only have, a, like, maybe, I'm going to say maybe uh, two to three hours worth of sewing left to do tomorrow. And then I'll be done with these bags. Whew. I'm glad. I really do like the totes, though. I hope you guys do, too. The last one sold pretty quickly, but there were only, I think, seven of them. But this time there's going to be, I think, 24. So there's 20, there'll be 22 of the medium-sized ones and just two of the large ones. But, um, I don't know, I really like this one. I think this one turned out really great. Just, it looks good. It's just pretty. I just like it. I made the handles nice and long. Luckily, this was on sale. <laughs> I had to go back to the store to get some more of this. Um, or I would have had all these bags done already. I would have had them done yesterday. But I ran out of thread, white thread, and I needed it for a lot of these bags. And I ran out of this stuff, which is, this is cotton webbing. I like to buy the cotton, because it's the same price as the, the neon webbing. But I think the cotton feels better than the plasticky kind. And I feel like it's more durable for washing. I don't know. That's just my, that's just me. <laughs> I don't know. But it's the same exact price. So it doesn't really matter if I buy the neon or the cotton. Because they're both $1.99 a yard. Unless it's on sale. And it was $1 a yard this time. So I bought 20 yards. <laughs> I bought 10 of each. And um, I still got a lot left. Which is good for future bags. I had to order some new mailers. Um, because I'm almost out and I used gray ones the last few updates and I couldn't get them again So the next mailers that are coming in are gonna be hot pink <laughs> So if you order a bag from me and you see a hot pink package coming in your mail, it's your bag <laughs> Because um, I could choose blue pink or purple So I chose pink because I like pink the most out of those three colors but Yeah, so I'm going to clean up my sewing mess that I got in there and I think I'm gonna get ready to go swimming I'm gonna have Devin come pick me up and take me swimming <laughs> Because um, we didn't get to go swimming yesterday. It kind of rained a little. And Devin's got to work Thursday and Friday. And then he'll be off the weekend. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I think I already said that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.